Now, if you've not come across this before, this is going to be amazing. You're going to love it. If you have come across this before already and already love it, still listen up because I've got a few ideas of how you can make this even more powerful. So we want to share our PowerPoint slides. We click on the share content. And for many of us, the temptation is to do what we've always done, which is to share our screen with our slides ready to go. That does have its limitations because we can't see um, our PowerPoint notes. We can't see necessarily everybody's videos if we're just using one monitor. So instead, I invite you to look down where it says PowerPoint Live. And beneath this, what you can see are a whole load of um, presentations that I've had to open recently. But I always go to browse my computer to find these from the absolute um, start. I'm just going to go into um, a random, there we go, um, document for you you to take a look at. Um, the reason I always load it directly from my computer is because I found that sometimes um, older versions are loaded up that I don't want. So I just want to be absolutely sure. And what I also do is I have on my desktop in a file ready to go at the beginning of the week, all of the presentations that I need to use that week so I can find them very easily. But if we share this way, as you can see, da, 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 wow, we can see the slides. If you've got some um, notes, then they're available for you as well. Um, if you've got those in your PowerPoint, you've got all your thumbnails at the bottom and you can scroll between these as well, which means you can skip slides quite easily, as you can see here. Let's just go back to that starting one. Um, and if you've got videos on, then you can see the videos as well. So mine's just here at the bottom. Um, but if you've got participants with you, you'll see all of their videos at the top of the screen um, as well. Your participants can only see the slides. Um, but if you want to share the chat box, you can see that too. All of that is great. Okay, so some other things that we can do here as well is we can present in standout mode. So this is a new feature with more options on their way. Uh, but look, I'm here like a weather presenter in my slides. Um, it's a really cute feature. We use this a lot when we're pre-recording um, walkthroughs of some of our content. It's quite nice to have that visual of somebody speaking at you, even though it's a recording, but it's a really nice option that you can play with as well. Um, something to just draw your attention to if you haven't seen this already is this little eye icon. It's tiny, but it's really helpful. What happens as default is that when your participants can see these slides, if they want to, they can move ahead or backwards. So they can take a sneak peek at some of the slides that are further along in your presentation, which you might be okay with. But if you do want to prevent that from happening, just clicking this little eye here means that only you can control what your participants see. Really helpful to know. A couple of other things, as you can see, we now have the laser pointer. Now, only you have these annotation tools. There's a pen as well. Um, thankfully, along with the um, highlighter, there is an eraser. And we can just erase all of our ink on the slides. Um, only you can annotate here. Finally, something else to draw your attention to. These tiny three little dots, these tiny things are often the most exciting. Um, if you want to um, encourage your participants to translate the slides, because their first language maybe is a different language to the language that these slides are presented in, then look, these are all the different languages that they can translate the slides into. Only they get to see it. So if I was translating them for me, I've just translated them into um, German there. Um, it's a very direct translation, so it's not always as fluid as you would um, like it to be. But it's really helpful if I just bring up a slide that's got more text on it, you just get an idea that for some participants, this might be a real help. If they need some help going back to the original, again, you just click the three little dots and take it back to original. So there you have it. Just some nice features that you can access in PowerPoint Live. So give it a go and just check out our videos for more features that are coming your way. Thanks, everyone.